Thank you for tuning in to Workshop for the Soul. You know, it's uh, another great time I can get before you and share what, uh, share what God has put on my mind and my heart. The thought is, is there's a lot going on. And a lot you notice and a lot we I notice and a lot we all notice. But while everybody noticing everything, I notice that I signed up to die. I'm killing myself daily, you know. I mean, didn't you sign up to die? I promise you signed up to die. But I'm seeing more cowards out here than a little bit. I'm talking about weak-hearted Christians here. You signed up to die. So die. Nobody wants to die these days. Nobody wants to die out on the flesh. You know, we'll get to that. Let's turn to Proverbs chapter 1. And let's go to verse seven. And it says, for the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. I mean, to fear God is to obey his instruction. That caused you to die because flesh itself naturally don't want to obey what the words say. Because they fighting against you, you know, you know, your flesh fighting against the spirit, your spirit fights against the flesh. We all know that ongoing battle. We get it. All right. But to fear God is to obey his instructions. And when you willfully disobey his instruction, that's saying to God. I'm not afraid to die in my sin. Like, hey, I know what the words say. I know what my preachers say. I know what my pastors say. I know what the reverends say. I know what the ministers say. But. I'm not going I'm not going to listen to that. I'm going to willfully disobey the instructions of I know what the word says. I'm going to willfully disobey it. All right. And that says to God, I'm not afraid to die in my sin. I mean, you willfully chose to disobey it. And I saying to God, um, I signed up to die. And yeah, I know I'm supposed to die for you. But this time I'm dying for my sins. Delayed obedience is rebellion. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26. Let's roll down to 26. The Bible says, I will, all, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. God ain't playing with you. Because you know better. It ain't like you don't know better. The Bible says, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men. That's you. You do know better. It's not like you don't know better. But keep on playing. He's going to laugh at you. Your calamity. I mean, verse 27 says, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. That sounds like a hopeless situation. I think hope is the very first video I put on. it. I mean, you do know better. Because you despise wisdom, but because you des despise the word, because you thought that wasn't for you, but because you thought that this was writ written back then and things are different now, you took that foolish approach to it. Well, fools despise wisdom and they hate knowledge. Verse 29 says, yeah, verse 29, we, we read, you know, we skip 27, go straight to 29. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. But I thought you signed up to die. Oh, I love Jesus. Yeah. All right. Till it's time for you to let go of something that you identify yourself with. See, most people identify themselves with what they do. And if they didn't, if they couldn't do that, they wouldn't know who they were. Most people don't want to let them that sin go because they don't they identify that sin. They identify that character flaw with who they are. And that's not who you are at all. But yet, you signed up to die. Come on now. I mean, do you think by not seeking a deeper relationship with God, you get off the hook because you know less? Don't you know, don't you know, God understands and he knows you don't want to be held accountable? For knowing more, just because you thinking 
just because you know how God works, because you're not ignorant, the more you know, the more you're held accountable for. Because you willingly not get it in your word, you think you're going to be held accountable for less? So you can hit somebody with the my preacher still working on me thought? Didn't you sign up to die? Come on, man. With a proverbial knife to your throat at, though. I'm saying. Don't think because you're not seeking God's word. Yes, you say yes, but you're not seeking a deeper relationship. So you think you're going to get off on certain things. Also, you think you can have some delayed, delayed obedience. All right. Get your get your calamity laughed at. Get your situ God mock your situation because you refuse and despise wisdom and understanding. It's not that you don't want to learn it. Oh, no, you, or you might actually go through and read it, but you don't want to do it. Are you are you a hero only? What my do is that, though? Let's go to Proverbs chapter three and let's go down to verse. Twenty five. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of desolation, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. It's coming. I mean, sudden fear. Here's an example. The Bible says, be not afraid of sudden fear. Well, because you lack the knowledge and because you don't want to increase the wisdom, that sudden fear that come over you, it, it, it take a hold on you. It says, how about this? Um, the cell phone calls, cell phone rings, and um, that phone call spells a lifestyle change for you. And that lifestyle change for you going to cripple who you are because you identify yourself with what you do. Now you have less. And that call will be your world. Man. That call will be your desolation. That call will be the fear. And that's your energy. That's 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 what you got to look forward to. But the Bible says, be not afraid of sudden, sudden fear, neither of desolation of the wicked when it cometh. So it's coming soon. Don't nobody want to talk about the end. Yeah, you read your Bible, but you don't want to read Revelations. I get it. None of us like reading it. I mean, that, that joint terrifying. It's horrible. It's like, wow. OK, can I learn the middle of the Bible first? All right, well, if everybody got that attitude, nobody's prepared. Why? Because don't nobody really want to die to measure up. I thought you signed up to die up. I mean, let's go to Matthew chapter 8. Let's get some of this new new. I need the New Testament at. Matthew chapter 8. And let's go to verse 26. It says, and he sent him away to his house saying, I'm sorry. Matthew chapter 8, verse 26. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to anyone in the town. Hmm. Hmm. I do believe that's, I'm, I'm in Mark. That's a flaw. <laughs> Bear with me. I, I don't have a reader yet. I'm getting on it. Um, Got to find somebody. Who has the zeal to keep this up? Because I, I put up more videos in a little bit. I'm sorry. Matthew chapter 8, verse 26 says, And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. <sighs> Didn't you sign up to die? Why are you so scary, though? I mean, talk about weak hearted. You you a chicken Christian, you super weak hearted, but you don't want to die. I mean, you hear, I mean, you sign up to die, but yet you're so scary. You gave your life to God, which means you have to die daily. More of more of what him and less of you. But yet you hear of disaster. Um, you sense you sense it. You sense that everything won't won't be fine, and then you get real scared. You sense everything won't be fine. No, then you cast away your hope. Well, okay. Well, remember, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't appreciate the wisdom and the knowledge. You despised it. Why? Because it wasn't for you at that time. Well, no, it's not for you at that time. It's for you later. But yet you didn't want to observe it. Yet you didn't want to reverence it. So now 
You still going through the motions saying, yes, I signed up to die. All right. But then when some real trouble come your way, you get real scared. Why? I mean, you got to understand what Jesus did, though. I mean, 826, Matthew 826, it says, why are ye fearful? Oh, ye of little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Why haven't, it's enough to pray in a storm. I get it. We all need to pray for ourselves. I get it. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's how I got to where I am. That a month. Um, but why haven't you rebuked your own storm? Praying is okay. But are you praying out of fear? Stand up and rebuke your own storm. Why you gonna let it? Why you gonna let it chop you up like that? Oh, ye of little faith. If Jesus, I mean, we're supposed to do what Jesus did. Jesus literally got up and rebuked the storm. How about you rebuke some of your storms? Then maybe you can maybe you can truly say I signed up to die and I meant it. But yet the storms are perplexing you and they breaking you. All right. I ain't talking about bending. They storms flat out breaking you. You here today, gone the next in your mind, in your spiritual mind. You, you're not even there. Well, you haven't even thought about rebuking your own storm. It's not enough just to pray. You praying, you praying out of fear. Well, what you need to rebuke is the fear that got you scared in the first place because you got to remember you signed up to die. I mean, let's go to Matthew chapter 10. And I promise you I'll be on the right scripture this time. <laughs> Lord's willing. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. It says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear them, fear them which is able to destroy both the soul and the body in hell. Hmm. That's heavy, though. Fear not them which kill the body. All right. So now what they doing? They openly putting Christians to 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 death. OK, you forgot you signed up to die. I mean, when they openly start killing Christians. In the United States, will you be ready? Because it's coming. It don't stay overseas for a long time. Desolation, fear, destruction, cometh as a whirlwind, all that. That joint coming here. So you sign up to die or what? I mean, you're not supposed to worry about that stuff. Why? Because you have to remember you signed up to die and you've been dying every day anyway. So now this time when, when they come to kill the body, you know, it says, um, fear not them. Don't let that fear be such a, you know, a heavy burden that you give in underneath the you're going to deny me thrice act. Like, don't do that. I mean, let's just be real. How many of y'all screen Christ with a gun in your face? Well, your faith that you signed up to die, didn't you? All right. Because this message is going to replay in your head if you saw it. And then all of a sudden you deny them when that chop is in your face. We'll see. I mean, I thought the goal was to kill yourself. If somebody decides to hurt your body all in the name of. You not trying to, you know, they out, they out slaying and bottling Christian blood and selling it for. Six thousand, eight thousand grand to drink it, and all the rest of that. And that foolishness, fully fledged, gets here and openly. Then, remember, you signed up to die. Eyes open, no fear. Workshop for the soul is out. Y'all have a wonderful.